Welcome to Back to Briggs on Books, our international talk show where we talk to authors from all over the world. Uh, first guest today was from Latvia. I didn't even know where Latvia was, but she she <laughs> filled me in. Our next guest has been here before, and she's got a fascinating book. Um, and our guest is Claudette Milner. Welcome, Claudette. Thank you. Welcome, and thank you for the opportunity. Now, this is a series, Children of Plains Estates. Tell us a little bit about the series. The series encompasses from 2004 until current day. Um, it starts with four children in elementary school, four major families, and, and now uh, the oldest ones of the family are going off to college. So it's a elimination of the entire series. But the series is inclusive, diverse, and uh, it, it doesn't matter about economic status or, or race or religion. Uh, every child gets a voice. Wow. Now, Plains Estates, what does that refer to? That is a subdivision okay. <laughs> where a company moves into the neighborhood. They build a subdivision of their work for their workers when they come to Oregon. And so that is the subdivision that they live in. And ironically, in this subdivision are the upper class at one end of the subdivision. And then uh, the workers are also in the subdivision. And they have two schools, a private school, a public school, a Catholic school. So uh, that encompasses the neighborhood of Plains and States. Covers all of them. By the way, here is the book cover. And uh, uh, it makes you want to look further. It makes me want to research further uh, into what is this all about? Uh, interesting. I chose, yeah. I chose the American flag because this book, the current book, uh, Children of Plains Estates, uh, become change agents. Mm. And I have made the book available on Amazon for free. Not the book, but the ebook. So the ebook is free. So all you have to do is go into Amazon.com and uh, click the zero button, and you have your ebook. You have your ebook. Wow. I I have the uh, American flag because this is a book of unity and hope, mm -hmm. and this is a book where I have uh, Palestinian characters, uh, Jews, uh, characters that are homeless. Wow. Uh, people that have mental health issues. Uh, and these kids have mostly half of them have been involved in a mass shooting. Oh boy. So instead of hate, the last book was battle hate on all fronts. And that's when Youth uh, United started. But instead of hate, these young men and women, Democrats and young Republicans are unified in order to describe the, the U.S., the America, that they want to live in in the future and how they could be change agents right. with this unification. Sounds, so that's why the American flag. It sounds like it's the recipe, the book, uh, the environment's a recipe for uh, conflict. You have it could be. Yeah. It could be. And there are, and if you have followed me as a writer, I... I show the realistic conflict, but I also, in the book, a young Republican wants to be uh, one of the heads of Youth United. Mm -hmm. And he says to them, when you look at me, don't see Donald Trump. <laughs> see a Republican that believes in the values. And I equate him to uh, John McCain, mm -hmm. which is one of my... Uh, candidates that I supported uh, just simply, although he was Republican. So, yeah, it can become conflicting during the meetings, um, but the meetings are orchestrated by a united front of clergy from rabbis, Muslims, Catholics, Presbyterians. So there are cases uh, where there are a lot of tears, a lot of pain that are, that is shed in this book. 
but we have to show what we are doing to our children yeah. by the nonsense that we're doing in our society. There is a lot of nonsense right now. Who's this book for? Is it for kids? Is it young adult? Is it for adults? It is, I put on there 11 to 18 plus because I have a large adult audience and, uh, and then kid audience, teenage audiences. So I would like for this book to be read in high schools, in colleges, especially colleges that are in conflict. Mm -hmm. uh, like my previous college of Columbia University that's in conflict. I would love for them to read this book. Um, it's difficult uh, to get through because there are mass shootings. Oh. There, There is stereotypes. I have one character um, that is um, LG, in the LGBTQ community who has been a character from the very beginning, but it's now coming out. And he says to his mom, I can't vote. Who is going to fight for me? Mm. Yeah. Now, it sounds like a book of hope, a book of possibilities. Absolutely. Because these young people try to figure it out mm -hmm. whether they want to work in uh, for Sickle Cell Anemia magazine, mm -hmm. because I have a character that has sickle cell, or if they want to work in a doctor's office, if they want to work for the homeless, and some mm -hmm. of them haven't figured it out, but one wanted to work on a committee in global warming mm -hmm. and climate control. And so they're trying to figure out how to make America truly better with equality and unification. And so they are testing the waters. I, Claudette, it sounds like every young person should read this book. I guess that's why you're giving I, it away for free too. Yes, the reason I'm giving it away because as a self-published author, I have to go to every single event buy the books from Amazon and sell them and be there. Mm -hmm. I can't be all over the world. No. No. And so I'm giving it away because I want people to get the book, read the book, refer the book, and I want to get this book to where we have it, a voice for our children. I mean, there are so many books that want that discuss these. Our kids are reading these books. They are not discussing uh, the the issues, and so I, I think this is the only series that actually confronts the social ills of today and tries to provide solutions. Great. Um, I think it sounds like a very important book, and uh, I think it sounds like that. Uh, and by the way, this time I promise I'm going to read it, especially since it's free out there on the on the. Uh, ebook um i think uh, uh just the idea that it shows that there's a way there's a process and i guess the kids are they the ones who figure out this process they do with the help of mentors mm -hmm. and guidance the when they go to the meetings the the kids take the forefront because they are showing examples of there are kids that are homeless Mm -hmm. There are kids that are have been have parents that are racist. Mm -hmm. They discuss how do you how do you go home to uh, to a church that is totally segregated, yeah. and are my parents will not pay for me to go to college unless I go to an all white college. Yeah. These are the questions that these kids are struggling with, the things they say, the things they hear. And how do they make that separation and still have a place to stay at night? Right. That's the difficulty for them. Do you think uh, most kids will see themselves somewhere in the book? I know they will. Okay. I know they will. I've had uh, a couple of kids come to me and say, I have never had or read about a character that has sickle cell anemia yeah. that is in a mainstream book that is not 
um, in a book about um, just on the shelf during sickle cell anemia month. Yeah. Or alcoholism of all the kids that have had depression, mental depression, weight loss problems during the pandemic, isolation, PTSD, mm -hmm. all of the kids that have suffered. And we have um, one of my latest projects is sitting on the planning committee for the march on poverty because poverty is the fourth leading killer of our youth. And so on March 2nd, 41 states marched to their capital mm. to, for this particular march. And they do have it in California. I looked yeah. it up to see if California went, um, participated in this march. And the United March will be June 15th in Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C., the big, the big house, so to speak. What, um, now, this series, how many books are in the series? Eight. Eight. Oh, I see. It says right there, volume eight. So, and that's yeah. the end. Are you done with the series? I never know. Okay. I, you know what? I never know until the Holy Spirit says, okay, I have something else to say. I, I believe that because of what's happening in Israel, because we do have kids in the book who have hostages or brothers, um, yeah. brothers in Israel or uh, family in Gaza mm -hmm. that are uh, hostages. So we do have that. And because the war is still going on, and we've got the war in Ukraine, yeah. and then we've got the election coming up. And, and three of these kids are working on uh, registering people to vote. Mm -hmm. So I seriously doubt it. <laughs> doubt it, okay. Um, Claudette, we're way out of time. Uh, I, I'm moved by your, the, the story of the book, and I will, I guess I should start with volume one, right? You can start with volume one, uh, but I can also tell you that um, you have three days left, listeners, to get the book, the ebook free. Amazon is going to pull that that freebie on the 20, 23rd. I thought they were going to pull it on the 24th, but um, but they're, they're going to pull it on the 23rd. Please get a copy of the book. Please refer it to other people. We have to give our youth the, the promise, the hope of unification in America. Let's make America great and let's let our youth define their future and us stop taking their future away. All right. I'm going to pass the word. Everybody's watching, pass the word. You see Claudette's uh, web address there on the screen and her Instagram. So thank you, Claudette. And I want to have you back soon. In a month or so, we'll talk again. All righty. I'll talk to you later. All right. Thank you Bye for now. the opportunity. Have a blessed day. My pleasure.